President Obama's possible nominee for Supreme Court Justice. Justice David Souter announced his resignation last week, and now there is speculation that Obama may select the first openly gay nominee to replace him. ABC's senior White House correspondent Jake Tapper has more for us from the White House. I'm gay. Whether it's Ellen DeGeneres or Mary Cheney, society's acceptance of gays and lesbians has changed dramatically, whether Lance Bass or Sean Penn as gay rights icon Harvey Milk. You must come out! And as President Obama begins to cull his list of possible Supreme Court nominees, two prominent names happen to both be lesbians. Former Stanford Law School Dean Kathleen Sullivan and Stanford professor Pamela Carlin, both eminently respected and both out. The top Republican on the Senate Judiciary Committee seems open to the idea. I don't think a person who um, acknowledges uh, that they have gay tendencies is disqualified per se for the job. How do Americans feel? As long as they're qualified for the job, that shouldn't be it's not an issue at all. I think he would need to reconsider that. But conservative groups are wary. We are concerned that uh, no one be appointed who would impose a personal ideology of any sort upon the court. This decision comes as courts and state legislatures work to make same-sex marriage legal, even though President Obama opposes it, as he told MTV. I believe that marriage is between a man and a woman, mm -hmm. um, and uh, I'm not in favor of gay marriage. Richard Sakharides, who advised President Clinton on gay and lesbian issues, says President Obama has yet to deliver on campaign promises to his community. He hasn't, in this initial period, spoken more directly and more forcefully um, about some of the issues he spoke about during the campaign, specifically the don't ask, don't tell policy in the military. Supreme Court vacancies often serve as a barometer for where society is. The first African-American justice was named in 1967. The first woman justice, Diane, was named in 1981. Diane? All right, Jake, our thanks to you.